You've absolutely killed it on the MCAT. You've sent out your primary application with a beautifully written personal statement and activity section. So what's next? Secondaries. The next stepping stone for medical schools to pick the right student for them. As well as, if you guys stick to the end, the Excel file that I use to organize and keep track of all of my secondaries. So sit back and relax as we embark on the journey of MD in the making. What's up YouTube, hope you're having a great day. For those of you that are new here, my name is Jason, an incoming first year medical student in Washington, DC. So you guys may have noticed those boxes over there. I'm actually moving to an apartment closer to school. So be on the lookout for more videos on how I find an apartment, as well as the moving in process and important supplies that I need as a medical student. So now it's time to figure out how to apply and what secondaries to write. So as a general rule of thumb, secondaries come in from most, if not all the medical schools you apply to. So the rule of thumb is to send back the secondaries at most two weeks or 14 days after you received it. So if you're applying to 20, maybe 25 schools, that could be a lot of secondaries that you're gonna have to send back in a short period of time. So what do you do? You have to pre-write. Pre-write, how are you gonna know what to write before you've received the secondaries? Ah, I got the answer for you guys. And it comes from an amazing resource from Med School HQ. I'll leave the link down in the description below. The amazing resource is that it compiles all of the secondaries from every medical school. All it is is medical students from prior years submitting in their secondary questions to Med School HQ, and then they create a beautifully organized website from it. The schools are organized based on state and then from each school it gives more information on it. So let's take into account the UCLA School of Medicine secondary application. So all you have to do is take, click on it and then it provides the prompts from the 2021 application cycle. Now this is last year's secondaries so you'll just be getting a rough estimate on the upcoming examples and you guys can start getting into them there. You'll see in going through them, a lot of them have reoccurring questions and themes. So I'm gonna cover those next. One thing that I wanna point out is Med School HQ even notes that COVID-19 has affected our lives. So start thinking about what you did during that time, how that affected you in your own journey of MD in the making. All right, so let's jump through and go through some common questions that are asked from secondaries and the best way to answer them. So I'm gonna go through the three most common questions asked from secondary applications. Starting with number one, describe yourself. So this is an absolutely loaded question. How are you supposed to write or describe yourself to someone who hasn't met you before? You feel like you've done so much in your own personal statement and through your activities, but what more do medical schools want to see? So let's take into account your primary application. What else didn't you share in that or what other things do you want to emphasize in this secondary application? Sure, you may want to describe how you maintain high grades. That's great, you'll make for a strong medical student. Or maybe you want to state how you did all these amazing extracurricular activities and you're able to balance school and all of those activities. But sadly enough, all the top medical school applicants are gonna run with the same idea. So we have to branch out and do something else to help us stand out. So in this describe us question, this is your opportunity to fill in the gaps in what you did during undergrad and your gap years if you took any. So the main thing that I wanna emphasize, everything that you include about yourself should be there for a purpose. Don't try to fill in the character spaces make every character count. So the best ways to describe yourself is again, like I've said in previous videos, go check them out. Make sure to show, not tell. So let's say you have an amazing characteristic about yourself. You're hardworking, you're dedicated, you're passionate. Okay, that's cool. Don't just say that you are a hardworking, compassionate, and caring student. Show them through anecdotes. Are there specific activities or circumstances that you've been in that you've really opened up your eyes to medicine and why you wanna to go to medical school. And the last point that I wanna state in this describe yourself question is think about the medical school's mission statement. How does your own mission statement match up with theirs? What extra things did you do and learn from your experiences, whether it be shadowing or doing research or clinical volunteering? Don't write what you think the admissions committees wanna hear. Write about yourself and write a compelling story. The next question, 
why this school? Now, it seems like another loaded question, and obviously you would love to attend there, but you'd love to attend all the other schools that you apply to. You apply to those schools for a reason. So this is where you guys can make that extra step that extra leap to stand out in the secondaries. It will be some extra work that you have to do, but I'm going to emphasize this. Research the school. Make sure you know exactly the program that you apply to. You applied there for a reason. So this question is going to be very much tailored to a school specific. Look into what kind of programs even the school offers. Is there a student run free clinic that you wanna join? Are there amazing research opportunities that you wanna join? Is there a specific PI that you wanna work with? In essence, what part of the school's mission statement do you feel most connected to? So look for ways that you can match your personal mission statement as well as the school's mission statement so that way when admissions committees see that application, they will know that you are the perfect fit at their school of medicine. And lastly, make sure you guys read the entire prompt. While you can see the why us question in a bunch of different secondaries, they will all have their little nuances. So please be careful to read it fully and make sure you answer each part. And the last commonly asked question in medical school secondaries is describe a challenge you faced. Now this seems like one of the most difficult types of questions because what happens if you can't think of a challenge that you faced? So this question asks for a lot of self-reflection, which is really the main point of the question. Can you look back at your own life, your own experiences, and see where you've hit a stumbling block, where you've hit a roadblock, and how you've overcome it? So you may be thinking you haven't really had any challenges that you've faced. Do not exaggerate your adversity. We've all faced challenges. We've all faced stumbling blocks. Now it's time to reflect on your life experiences and describe it fully. One of the strengths of the admissions committees is they can know and they can tell when you're grasping at straws. So don't fake it. Again, you guys wanna describe and go through what you've experienced in your life. I'm certain that everyone watching this video, no one has gotten a perfect 4.0 GPA, a perfect 528 MCAT, and done thousands and thousands of hours of research, thousands and thousands of hours of clinical experience, and so much more in volunteering and the like without having had a challenge that you've had to overcome. Life isn't easy, so there's no need to exaggerate on the experiences that you've had. Tell it like it is, but make sure to get your reader involved. Make it a strong anecdote, and be sure to show, not tell. All right, so you guys have seen the most common secondary questions, and I've given you guys the resource for all the secondaries that you're going to have. And again, be sure to start pre-writing them as soon as possible. All right, so what's next? You've already applied, and some secondaries start coming back. Now's the chance that we get to go through the amazing Excel file that I've made for you. Let's jump right in. So this is my handy Excel file that I created to track all of my secondaries. For all you Excel nerds out there, you guys are going to love this thing. I definitely enjoyed making and utilizing it so much more so than I did actually applying to all those secondaries. So let's go through how to properly use it. First section is school name. So let's put in that we applied to NYU, and then I wanna note that it's an MD program, and I'll show you guys why later on. The next two are pretty self-explanatory. Have the link so that it's easy accessible username and password so that way you have everything organized in one place. Next, let's put in the cost. And let's just say that it costs $1 to submit the secondary. Wouldn't that be nice? And I'll show you guys why I put in the cost here later on. Now you guys will note that the next part is the status. And as you guys can see here, the status actually has a formula embedded in it. So I'll show you guys how it works. So we'll add in the date received. Let's just say that it comes in June 10th of 2021. You guys will note that the date to be completed also changes as well as the days left. Date to be completed is calculated from the date that it was received plus two weeks, which is the standard rule of thumb for when you should submit back your secondaries. The days left takes into account the date to be completed minus today's date, so that way you have a rough estimate on the amount of time that you have left. The next column is the date that you submit the secondary. And as you guys can see here, the days left changes to submitted and the status changes to processing. That way you guys can, again, organize everything and everything is neatly laid out. The last section is the date completed. And now this is the date in which the medical school states that they have received your secondary application and everything is good to go. And again, the status then changes to completed again, just to organize everything so it's clearly labeled. Now you've been so lucky that you have an interview invite. 
Now you guys can put whatever date you want here, whether it's the date that you received your email for the interview invite or the actual interview itself. And the last step, let's say a few days later, you are lucky enough to be accepted. And as you guys can see, again, the status changes to accepted, keeping everything clean and organized. So let's jump into the next sheet so that way I can show you guys how all this information is properly tracked. Within the stats sheet here, you guys can see that I've organized it in DO versus MD. And that's why it's so important to mark what type of program you're applying to on the previous sheet. Anything that has a value already in it means that it's being calculated from the previous sheet or it's a formula within here. Everything else that's blank is for you to fill in. So as you guys can see here, for the MD school, we have received one secondary, we have completed one secondary, and the cost of it was $1. Now below, I want you guys to know to make sure that you keep track of your ACOMAS and AMCAS ID because you're gonna be using them a lot during your secondaries. Now the cost is taken into account here just for you guys to run your own numbers. Add in the cost of the primaries, add in the cost of Casper, and then it'll combine the cost of secondaries for both MD and DO school. If you guys wanna see a rough estimate of how much it costs to apply to medical school, you can watch my previous video up here. Now again, through the next two tables listed here, it is auto filling in for interview invites as well as acceptances. And then when we move down, it gives the overall statistics for the application cycle. It combines both the MD and DO numbers. That way you guys can see how you did overall. Let me know if you guys have any questions on using this Excel file, leave a comment down below or feel free to DM me on Instagram. So those are my tips on pre-writing secondaries as well as the best way to organize it with my own Excel file. I really hope this helps you out. And if it does, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit that post notification bell. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers and I can't do it without all of your help. So I'll see you guys in the next one as we embark on the journey of MD in the making.